Hi, this is Rebecca Holman from Journal Tsunami with another um, video about a tool that I really enjoy using, or not really a tool, but a website that I enjoy using. It's called Trend Hunter. A lot of times the work that we're doing in print on demand is very sensitive to the trends that are in the marketplace. And if you can do what some people call trend jacking, jumping on a trend that's brand new, um, then sometimes you can get ahead of the curve. So like, especially for some of these diets, you can create recipe books for some of these diets that are happening, especially if you're getting them in real time and getting in front of everybody else that's making this production making a shirt, making a book, making a mug, or any of the other things that you're doing. <clears throat> so this website really fits into that particular focus. When you don't have ideas, or you're at a loss for ideas, or you want to find out what is trending today, of course there's Google Trends, which we which we've talked about in another video, but Trend Hunter is a great website to take a look at and definitely bookmark and come back to periodically. Um, I like to look at this every couple of weeks to give me some fresh ideas about things that are happening in the marketplace. So type in Trend Hunter in Google, go to trendhunter.com. When you click on it, you'll be met with this absolutely overwhelming page full of information. So I certainly recommend trying to, you may want to click around, you may want to try and uh, focus on certain topics. Um, you definitely could become overwhelmed if you did try and just hang out on this website and try and look down every single silo that's here. You'd go crazy. Um, but food trends would be super popular to think about. Um, for kinds of recipe books, for ideas for kinds of blank recipe books, for cover art for your recipe books. Now obviously the cover art that's on this website is more than likely copyrighted or, or uh, protected, but it certainly can give you ideas about things that you might put on your book covers. There's tons and tons of different kinds of topics that are talked about on here. There's furniture trends and auto trends and um, diet trends. So a lot of the things that I use this website for is looking at trends. There's a whole place called lists, which is really valuable because here on this echo trends, for instance, if you're making trip planners, then you can niche your trip planners down to being specific types of niches. So green uh, echo conscious uh, trips are very, very popular. And so you can focus on trips that go to specific places. Uh, so you can have a cruise journal about going to South America. You can have a green eco trip journal about going to South America. So you can see that you can niche it down to different types of audiences, even if you're using the same interior design. So if your interior design for your low content book is about cruises or trips and journeys, you can have the same interior and just make your cover and your title more appropriate and niche down to the topic in question. Um, there's lots of different things that can pop into your head about log books, uh, journal books, uh, basic kinds of um, books where people are compiling information, um, architectural ideas, so people can, you can have journals that are just for architects where they can, it is, it's a sketchbook where they're going to just keep it in their purse or their pocket or their briefcase, and it's a sketchbook for architects. And so the sketchbook for architects might have some very specific information on the page. Uh, it might be blank on the bottom, for them to draw out their sketch, but on the top it might be an uh, idea for what prompted this idea, where did this idea happen, and then perhaps uh, did this idea, um, when did you put this idea into motion um, or move it into the model phase. So that's just one idea just from looking at this architect image um, that popped into my head. So there's all kinds of different architects, right? 
So you can create books for the different types of architects that exist. Again, your inside interior of your book might be the same, but your cover and your title would appeal to the different niches. Again, I'm just making things up. You need to do the research on Amazon to see if those would sell, if it's warranted, and what people are searching for in those topics. I'm just giving you some ideas about how to move forward to look at some of these topics. CBD um, is a really great topic. Uh, people are keeping different types of CBD journals just like they keep essential oil journals because you can combine different CBDs, which is a type of uh, hemp or marijuana product if you're not familiar with the CBD uh, world. Um, so people are combining and using them in different ways. If you go to a, a different providers, you might want to have a book about the different providers that are in your city or that you purchased your products from and what and itemize the products that you got from them, especially if you're somebody who is using them for your health because you're very sick. It might be very helpful to keep track of uh, what reaction you had to that particular product and if it helped or didn't help so that you can purchase it again, especially if you're still experimenting with the different ones that you need to have in terms of dosage for yourself. So definitely something to think about because you can make those for other people, obviously for CBD users. Um, Eco-friendly material alternatives for somebody who's a construction person. Um, all kinds of hemp products. Um, you can create books that have, you know, hempcrete on the cover that are more for eco-conscious kinds of consumers. I don't know, I'm just throwing things off the top of my head of how you can use this trend, uh, trend hunter page. There's just so many different things that are here um, that you can click around on. I personally think um, if you're easily overwhelmed, perhaps this isn't the website for you, but if you're somebody that really is able to think outside of the box, especially if you're advanced enough to be at a stage where you understand how to smash different niches together, then this is a great website for you to come to. So when I say smashing niches together, nursing is a niche, drinking wine is a niche, wine drinkers. So nurses that drink wine, you're smashing two very popular niches together. Teachers who drink wine, putting two uh, very popular niches together. Nurses who drink coffee, nurses who eat cheesecake, nurses who like unicorns. You know, taking two very disparate topics and putting them together to make books and come up with ideas that may become popular. Obviously, again, researching on Amazon will tell you if they've been done, overdone, and if they actually are going to sell. So this is a great website to come to to get some ideas if you're stuck, don't get overwhelmed. Uh, it's worth clicking around, getting some ideas, and try and go down one, one loophole, one rabbit hole, um, and, and go to the bottom of that rabbit hole and then take it over to Amazon versus just clicking around randomly um, and getting yourself lost and overwhelmed. Trend Hunter uh, is the website, trendhunter.com. Um, it's a wonderful, brilliant website full of great ideas and things that are happening right now. It's a lot of fun to uh, be on and take a look at, and hopefully you can be finding some great ideas for niches that you can create. Also think about um, other types of books that you can create, you know. Um, low content books are not just notebooks. They're sketchbooks, they're coloring books, they're children's um, uh, children's picture books. Uh, so there's all kinds of different things to consider when you're making low content books and, you, and getting outside of the mindset of just notebooks will take your business to the next level. So hopefully you found some value in this 
uh, video on Trend Hunter and in the other videos that are in my series. And hopefully I can you can come and ask questions or comment in my free Facebook group. And maybe I'll even see you in my paid mastermind. Talk to you later and have a great day. Happy trend hunting. Bye-bye.